Rachel broke character and bought me the absolute coolest kitchen gadget as a gift. It's not your birthday. No. And it's not Christmas. No. But aren't you glad we got this? I am. And we're going to use it today. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Aw, that's how I am about the coffee maker. <laughs> so if you haven't figured it out by the thumbnail, Rachel bought me a Ninja Creamy and I'm in love with this thing. And we've only had it for a day. It's amazing. It really is. Now, the reason I say that Rachel broke character is because Rachel is not a just surprise gift kind of person. She's like, it's a birthday, anniversary, Valentine's Day, Christmas. The rest of the year, she's kind of like, if you want it, go get it. Because I could never figure out what to get for you. And we usually have a policy within our marriage that we don't purchase anything over $50 without consulting one another. So, yeah, I totally surprised him. I completely him forgive you for this one. On that. <laughs> I'm really excited. So she went out and she got a Ninja Creamy for me. Now, I do want to say this video is not sponsored in any way. We purchased this. With our own money, where did you get it from? I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, not Bath & Body Works. Like sometimes we just them all the time. accidentally say, no, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond mm -hmm. with a 20% off coupon. So it was $199 and then I got 20% off because coupons are awesome. So 160 bucks plus tax. Uh, now, here's the cool thing about um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Their coupons, if you get the paper ones, they never expire, even though there's an expiration date on there. Yeah. So always save them. We have an entire folder of them because like we won't buy anything for months and then all of a sudden I want like 50 things from there, right? Kitchen can, gadgets. You can still go to their website, which is what I did, and, and just say like, do there. you want an in-store coupon? And you're like, yes, please. Yeah. So we got this for all money now. The machine itself is $199 and then you need these these little containers. It comes with three, but you can get extra. So far as I know, the only place that's currently selling the extra ones is Creamy's website or Ninja's website. And they have a coupon there too. You get a deal when you go register and you also get a deal if you go and give them your email address and sign up on their mailing list. So you'll get a discount that way. I've already ordered six more of them because you're gonna see why. Right. This thing is amazing. You want extras. So you wanna know what a Creamy is? Here's what a Creamy is. It's an ice cream maker. It's a milkshake maker. It's a smoothie maker. It. What else does it make here? Sorbet. It's a sorbet maker, gelato. a smoothie bowl, light ice cream, gelato. It does it all. And it does it in two minutes. Yeah, and you can even like mix stuff in. If you were used to going to like a Cold Stone Creamery and you like junk in your ice cream, I love junk in my ice cream, and you just want to add some like Lily's chocolate chips or mm -hmm. you know some nuts to it. Think about blizzards. Like yeah. right, you used to go to Dairy Queen and get the blizzard or even McDonald's. It incorporates this it. This will do it all for you. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna have some ice cream recipes coming out with this. We're gonna use some of Carrie Brown's recipes. Like you get Carrie Brown's ice cream book, which is amazing. You get it on brilliant. Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link for it down below. We have it, and her ice cream is amazing. But we do substitute out the xylitol and use allulose instead because we have Tabitha, and she xylitol is kind of poisonous to dogs. But we were thinking we're getting ready to go to Kentucky, which means Rachel, who broke character and bought me this really cool gift, did it. Gave me this gift when we're about to do 30 days that we can only eat meat. Was I secretly trying to undermine our challenge? No. Know. I'm already planning on so. coffee and butter and coffee and egg in here, just no sweetener. So we were thinking though, 
Let's make some keto chow ice cream. Start with a keto chow. And what we're super excited about is you can make the keto chow ice cream with like a, a an ice cream maker consistency with butter. Yes. So we actually have used this. We used it in a vlog, which is coming out. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and you hit that bell button so you're notified when that vlog comes out. And you're going to see us actually learn how to use it on camera with a few bloopers because yeah. we had no idea what we were doing. And it had pictures, but it was kind of still hard, a little confusing. Yeah. So here's what you need to do. We're just going to make normal keto chow ice cream. Now, if you don't know, we actually have a video on how to make keto chow ice cream in a Vitamix. Yeah. Which is very, very quick. Okay. You're just going to add in your ice. You're going to add in your heavy cream. You're going to add in your water. You're good to go. Some people have a problem with it because the problem is ice, you have to get just the right amount. Otherwise yeah. it doesn't work right. Also, although we have a video on how to do it with butter, it's kind of a pain in the neck and you still get that waxy thing. The other way you can make keto chow ice cream is by just doing it in an ordinary ice cream maker. And we're not getting rid of our ice cream maker. We've Maybe. had a lot. Maybe. I'm well, still thinking about we've that. We've had a lot of questions about that. So yeah. right now we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. We have a compressor one. The compressor one is great because you take a pre-made keto chow, you pour it in there. In liquid form. 30 minutes later about you have ice cream. But it is a very soft serve ice cream. But again, doesn't really work well with butter. Heavy cream is best. Our tummies don't appreciate four they ounces of heavy cream. like heavy cream as much. So what's the difference between those and this one? So you have a regular ice cream maker, you either have a compressor or you're gonna have the bowl that you have to stick in the freezer. This one here, you're gonna make your keto chow ahead of time, however you want. Now you can do add-ins like allulose to give it a little bit more of a creamy consistency or you can add acacia gum, which will help it not like really freeze, freeze hard. So we're gonna have more videos on that later, but this is just a straight up keto chow ice cream. Straight up now tell me. Do Take you really your keto chow. Me Make ever. your keto chow. So we made two of them with four tablespoons of butter, 12 ounces of warm water, and then we made chocolate toffee. You're going to pour it directly into one of these containers. In okay? liquid form. Right? In liquid form. Right from so you your can blender. See it just like this. It's in here. And then you're going to put this in your freezer and freeze it for 24 hours. That's the hard part of this recipe. So it's kind of like having the ice cream maker with the bowl. But instead of freezing the bowl, you're gonna freeze your actual mixture. Well, and what's nice is we have two of these and more than that because- Well, we, we have three total. Well, because when we did it with the bowl, you would make enough for me to be happy, but not Joe, because you'd have to wait to like chill right. that bowl again. So you ready to show how to do this? Yes. So now that you've got this frozen, we've got to have no sense in showing you how to mix a keto chow. We got plenty of videos on yeah. how to mix a keto chow. All you're gonna do is take your keto chow, pour it in here, Stick it in the freezer. There's a bottom cup like this. We're gonna go ahead and drop this into this bottom cup. Then you have a lid here, okay? And then you have this blade. A propeller. Took me a long time to figure out how to do this. Like I said, you'll see that on the vlog. It's a ceiling fan. You're gonna drop your it ice cream. in here with this little latch pulled and now it's locked in place. See, now it doesn't come out. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on and it locks in place. You hear There's the like little a little click. click lock thing. We're gonna put it into our machine. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. And you got a plug in machine. Okay, now that we got that little oopsie out of the way. And we're back. Okay, you press the power button. Now it's gonna be blinking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the bowl up. And it does remind me of like those blizzard machines. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna do is just twist it up. Now it's raising the whole bowl up. Now the whole front is going to light up and you can choose ice cream sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, gelato milkshake, and then they have a mix in. We're going to start off with just plain ice cream. Just ice cream. So we press the ice cream button. It's loud. And it's going to be loud and it's going to basically start shaving down that mixture into an ice cream. About a minute and a half. Now, as it winds down, you're going to feel like it's burning out, but it's not. It's right. working great. And there's a little like dash thing across the top. So how far in the progress. So it's on the very last step. But now. it sounds terrible. 
Okay, so step one is done. Now, depending on what you use to make the ice cream, you may have to do what they call a respin. So we're gonna go ahead and check that. So there's a little button over here on the side. We're gonna press that and that's gonna release our whole mixture and it drops down. Then we're gonna press this little lid button to take off the lid. And what you're gonna see is when you look inside, it's kind of like powder. snowy powder. So we really need to give it another mix. And now this is where you would add in your mix-ins if you were gonna add something in. Now, I did learn something. I was having a problem when we did this where the lid, when we did the mix-in, was, or we did the respin, was sticking. So some of the ice cream gets up in here. So looking online, they say to take this off and go give it a quick rinse before you put it back on. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so I've rinsed off my paddle and now I'm just gonna put the paddle back in. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on. Now one thing, the machine is a little finicky. It won't let you hit the respin till you take the whole thing apart. Right. So if you just try to do it, you're gonna see it's blinking, something's wrong, that's what's wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and once again, lock it up in place and now you can choose and you can do mixing if you were gonna add in stuff, which we're not. The one mixin that I was thinking is like high key cookies. Oh my goodness. Put four or five Crumbles. high key cookies in there and let, let it have a nice crumble in there. Yes. Are you ready? So we're gonna hit respin. Okay, first respin is done. The respin is much quicker, like 30 seconds or so. So now we're gonna go ahead and press the button. And we're gonna check it again. See how the lid comes down. Like I said, the first time we did this, like why is the lid getting stuck? Yeah. Now we're gonna go ahead and check it. And it's still, it's getting there. But you can see it's still a little powdery. And it's up to you what consistency you so like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more respin. The taste is there though. Okay, paddle is all rinsed off. Now I do wanna say, I'm not rinsing the whole lid. I'm literally just taking the paddle out and I'm rinsing that because some of the ice cream gets up inside of the gear. Yeah, and just a reminder, you may look at this video and say, okay, for Joe and Rachel, they hit ice cream and then two respins, and that's exactly what I wanna do, so I don't need to take this out. It's not gonna work unless after every cycle you take it out and put yep. it back in. And again, you may only need one respin, you may need three. It depends on the consistency and the ingredients. We found with the butter, it needs like two or three respins. With heavy cream, it only needed one. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and check it after one more respin. Here we go. Press the button, pull it down. I'm really hoping it, I'm ready for ice cream. And let's see. Boop. Yes. yes. Just what I want to see. This this is how it's gonna look. You might even want to do another one, but this this is this is the consistency. Now, let me show you here. I'm gonna take a spoon, but then we're gonna grab our ice cream scoop. Look at that. And look at that. Look at that. Ice that, cream. This is the smoothest, creamiest keto chow ice cream we have ever made. I think it's better than the ice cream maker. That's why I'm ready to get rid of the ice cream maker. But I'm Missy like, over here is like, up. I don't know about that. Let's we got it see. at a good deal. We did. Because they're like 300 bucks and we paid like $125 So for you may it. never get it again. So, okay, I'm going to give you first taste. But we do need to scoop this out. Because it's your second favorite flavor. Mm. It oh is so God. good. So. So good. Okay, right? Yeah. Let me show you. How, How well creamy scoops. this is. A regular ice cream scoop. Try doing this coming out of an ice cream maker. Look at that. So nice. Look at this. And again, this is with butter. Right. This is not with heavy whipping cream. And it's not going to do wonky things with the roof of your mouth or taste weird because it has butter chunks in it. Now this is literally one serving of keto chow. Well, this whole thing. This whole thing. And here's the thing. We actually added too much. Let me grab something out of the refrigerator. Are you eating while I'm gone? No. Okay. So we made two of these because Rachel's mom wants to try one. Mm -hmm. So we made two keto chows. Now when we make a keto chow, we fill it all the way up to here. So yeah. four, ounce, four tablespoons of butter and then the keto chow, blend it in the, in the blender 
and then we fill the water all the way up to here. So two of these filled up, two of these, so that's two pints of ice cream, and then we have this much left. So basically, you can either do a keto chow without adding so much extra water, and just one keto chow makes one pint, or you can have like we did, and basically you're gonna get almost three ice creams out of two keto chows. That doesn't make me sad. So I'm telling you, it's amazing. I think it's the best keto chow ice cream, and I don't know, especially, it's gonna depend on the flavor. But yesterday we had root beer, which Rachel was so upset when she found out I made root beer until she poured but the Zevia over it. But it was perfect with the Zevia. It was a true root beer float. Yeah, I mean, that root beer just heightens the keto chow root beer flavor. You just have to get past the part that, like, Zevia is clear. But, but, chocolate toffee made with butter brings this to, it's now a butter chocolate toffee. It is so good because I really feel like butter brings out the flavor. Doesn't this right now taste like butter pecan ice cream without it, the pecans? It really does. And you oh, can mix Oh, get in. some mix-ins of pecans. So good. And again, that that's, that's only about half of what's left. So you can have this as a dessert and split it, or you can have this a pint of as ice cream. a meal. How about a pint of ice cream as a meal? And if you eat this entire thing, you're only looking at about 500 calories. Crazy. And that's your meal. That's your whole meal with a third of all the vitamins and nutrients you need. Right. With, that's about 25 grams of protein plus whatever you have, like in any of the minuscule amount in your butter. You're getting your fat. This is perfect. I'm excited. I still want to sell the ice cream maker. We'll probably hold on. But honestly, it's going to at least get put up on the top shelf. It's this is hitting the counter. It's losing its counter space prestige, mm -hmm. right? Because counter space is like, it's important, right? So this the, one's getting precedent. The best part is, is when you scrape it off the sides, you don't, you're not losing any, like you lose in that metal bowl on the ice cream maker. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop eating because we gotta finish this video. That makes me sad. Let us know down in the comment section. Did you get a Ninja Creamy? Let us know if you got a Ninja Creamy would you like to see a bunch of ice cream recipes, not just with keto chow? We're gonna come up with some keto chow ones with some add-ins, using some allulose, trying to get it even creamier, maybe doing concoctions, but we're also gonna come up with some regular ice cream recipes. We're also thinking about things like the frozen coffee drinks, right? Where you can turn it into different types of ice concoctions You be the stuff. barista. Let us know down in the comment section. I'm telling you, is this an expensive appliance at yes. $200 or $160 if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Absolutely. We think so. How much money did you used to spend on Starbucks? We used to spend at least $150 a month on Starbucks alone, right? So we did. It's, it's where do you put your value this is really incredible. I'm excited about it. Hopefully you guys are too. Now Here's if you like thing. seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over here. Also make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. bye.